Hello everybody, it's Tanya. Archer and I spent the day out. Here, I'll show you what he's doing. Archie, say hi! I got him a soup bone. He, um, he loves those. So he gets one once in a while. I had to get some new clothes. Uh, 14 is still too tight, but 16s are beginning to fall off, literally. So I got some problems. <laughs> I got a new workout DVD. This has, it's called Get Moving Mix. It's from Weight Watchers. I don't eat Weight Watchers, but I like the videos. They've got five different ones. It's got Pilates and Yoga, Toning, Cardio Dance, Abs in 10 Minutes, and Fat Burning Basics. Both, all of which look like something I could do. On the back, it shows them using chairs and whatnot. So I'm really hoping this is going to be something that I can do easily without a problem. I have found this one. This is Ali Sheedy, Tyne Daly. I really like Tyne Daly. David Lee Wilson and Jeff Davidson. And so I thought this looked like a good one. So chick flick. And I got I got I, I wanted to try this one. Taking a terrifying, taking terror to whole new depths. It's called the cave, and that looks really good. So those are the DVDs I picked up. Uh, they had some brand new deodorants, still sealed. So I got me one, and I got my friend Dan one. Uh, Mom brought me a whole bunch of these little. They're not clementines. I don't know what you call them, uh, but they're like half orange. So I've been snacking on those. And let's see what else I've got in here. A video I don't... I didn't mean to pick this one up. And I have no idea what it is. It's a self-recorded. It just says brothers on it. Ah, uh, that'll be fun. Let's see what that is. If nothing else, I can record over the DVD. Maybe. I hope. If not, hey... And this one is a Disney movie. I haven't seen it, but it looks real. I may have seen it once before. But it's called Ice Princess. I love Disney. So, let me rip this open because the bag busted. I thought I had picked up the never-ending story, but I guess I didn't. Either that or it's still in here. Now, this is a mishmash of clothes for me and clothes for my friend Anne. There is a craft haul that I'll do at a different video. Y'all, a flower shop threw up in my dining room and the glitter ball exploded. That's just how it looks. I mean, I'm in the middle of wreaths and I've got actual orders for them, which is really surprising. People are really behind me uh, trying to help me get the money I need for my service, my archer's replacement buddy and... Uh, because Archer's going to retire by the time he's 8 or 9. But my friend Ann, she wears, uh, she's into small, almost junior clothes. So I got her this for the summer. It's real lightweight, really short-sleeved. Pretty blues and greens will look really pretty on her. And I try to keep the person who I'm buying for their style in mind but once in a while I'll try a different piece just to see hey how did that one go over and again lightweight I mean almost see-through lightweight but the the colors and the patterns are nice so she can wear it with different things I was able to find her some shorts the other day but she needed pants too now these are actually for me they're silk lounge pants Believe it or not, the tag does say silk on it. So these are mine. I'll throw my things. I don't throw other people's things most of the time. Let's see who these are. Yep, those are mine. Just a pair of stretch jeans. They're more like jeggings. And that stuff, if it's stretchy like that, I can fit into a 12 or smaller if it's stretchy. So, I found a couple of them. Now, this one's a 16 stretchy, but I purposely bought these to be lounging around when I 
don't want to be dressed, but I need to be decent uh, in the evenings instead of, you know, lounging around in my night clothes if I'm expecting somebody. I can put these on, still be comfortable. They're baggy, baggy. I can fall asleep in them, but I don't look like I'm in my PJs. You know what I mean? Because you never know who's going to pop in. I spent on clothes uh 30 some dollars yesterday and about that today uh because i have given away there is a lawn care bag over there it's a great big bag for clothes and it's full so full i can't pick it up mom's gonna shoot me i found a pair of shorts they're probably for men. They look like something the crocodile hunter might wear, but they'll be um, they'll be good. They'll be good for palling around or even putting under a skirt, a longer skirt, if I want to do that. And that's the wrong pile. This is Anne's. I saw this. This was the last thing I added to the pile. Isn't that pretty? Such a feminine little thing. I know it'll fit her. I'm sure it has some stretch and give. And I really think she'll like that. I think it's gorgeous. I know she'll like it. Now this one's going to be big on her. But I got it for a reason. It's not going to be that big on her. But look what it says. It says... Love is the perfume of life. And I love her dearly. So, but, I mean, shoot, that would even fit me. But, um, that's for her. Now, this one is for me. I love this color blue. I love, uh, soft clothes. If it's soft, I'll love it, you know. If she doesn't want this pink one, it'll come back to me. Um, I'll probably send her a picture of that later so she can kind of get a look. Uh, look how teeny tiny. These are size two. Size two. She might have to hem them up a little bit. But she knows how to do that. I I know she looks really good in green, apple green especially. So I got her a little green top. She likes her tops a little bit big. So that's a medium. That'll be fine. Now this is a little dress. I don't know if she'll like it or not. I don't know which one of us this will fit. It was just hanging there and something told me to grab it. If nothing else, it'll go in the closet until it's needed. Now, I think I'll probably keep it and try to wear it myself. That's my style. That's something I might throw some pink leggings on with, you know. Let's see. These are hers too, I think. Yeah. Shoot, I don't know whose these are. I think these are actually mine. Mine are hers one. I'll have to send her a picture and let her choose. That's how I do it if I can't remember who I bought it for. Because certain things, I just like, oh, it'll fit either one of us. Now, this was mine because I really like white. Uh, that and it has the added bonus that it drives my mother nuts when I wear white. But it's big, it's kind of sloppy, so I can wear it around the house if I'm not going anywhere and I won't look too bad. So, I kind of have my wardrobe split between my going out of the house clothes and my play clothes, I guess you could say, is what my grandma called them growing up. Uh, and, and I still do that. Now, these are a pair of Nine West jeans. They are size 4. Which is what she asked for. Asked for. Wrong pile. So that's what she got. 
again, uh, these are weird. I guess they're dress jeans or something, but how are you supposed to do this? Is that the back or the front? How do you get behind yourself to zip your own pants? Please explain. And it's got a hook right here. How do you do that if that's the back of the pair of pants? That's got to be the front, right? Somebody tell me. Or do they just love making it difficult for people to get dressed? These are mine. And when I first saw them, I thought they were stained, but they're not. Can you see that? They've got a cream colored flower sewn into them, all over them. And they're three quarter. Uh, my mom calls those pedal pushers. I think one of my nieces used to call them Tommy knockers or knee knockers is what we call them. No, I don't need a long sleeve shirt. Yes, I bought one anyway. Isn't that pretty? I gave away most of my nice feminine shirts because they didn't look good anymore. And I wanted one to replace it. And I just realized, oh no, that's part of the pattern. I thought it was stained, it's not. It's part of the pattern, ha <laughs> ha. But I think this is nice, it's not real heavy weight. And I swear, the more late weight I lose, the colder I get. I feel like I'm going to freeze. I know this one's big, but I still think it's pretty, and I don't mind my shirts big. I do mind getting my piles mixed up. Just a pair of brown leggings. They should fit her. They'll probably be a little bit short. Uh, so they'd be good for around the, around the yard type. Because she has a big 100 acre farm. So, around the yard type stuff. What can I say? I saw sparkly. And I just touched this one. And I knew I had to have it. I love the feel of it. It's like a black underskirt with an overskirt of lace. Can you see that? I just, it needs a wash, but I thought that was really pretty. Let's see what else. Cause I know I bought her more stuff than that. This is mine, just to go along with some of my skirts that like the one I just threw back there. Just a middle way colored something to, to work on, yeah. These are skinny jeans, size 5, so they should be fine. They might actually be a bit big. I had to. I bet you I left the never ending story there and I got that brother's CD and I don't know what that is. DVD, whatever. This one's a sloppy around the house. It's too huge to wear out. In fact, I got it this way. This is like a 3X, I think. I got a 2 or 3X. I got it so that I can wear it as a sleeve shirt. <laughs> So that's what this one is. This one is a lightweight, very um, comfortable looking, feeling, very soft. I don't feel good. Baby myself shirt. I found a little more for myself this time. Uh, this is the dress part. Just a little coral. And then this goes over top. 
which I love because I am so bashful about my loose skin. I, you know, don't like to draw attention, but it's a little dress outfit. Uh, we are going to be in the hundreds tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Today we're in 70s. Tomorrow we're go supposed to go to, um, I think, 99 to 100 tomorrow. And I did pick up this because I thought that would go pretty with the... Um, I picked up another one, but I must have lost it on the road. That stinks. I liked that other one, too. But this will go good with the dress I just showed you. If I don't send it to a friend of mine whose favorite color happens to be orange. But I think the other necklace must have fallen through a hole. So there's that haul. My splurge today is a lemon iced tea. Uh, you'll see me drinking more lemon stuff in the summer. I crave citrus in the summer, so I have things always buy me like oranges, uh, drinks with a lot of lemon in them, homemade lemonade or limeade. I drink that a lot in the summer. I crave citrus really bad in the summer. And uh, I do take vitamins and stuff, but I have a malnourishment problem before I had the weight loss surgery uh, because I have eating issues with my cerebral palsy, but my body doesn't absorb it. So as much as any, someone else's might. So, and I'm Southern, I'm sorry. God, I have sweet tea. So, there's that haul. Uh, I need to spend some of the day I'm going to spend on the computer with Sean. But the rest of the day I'm going to spend working on wreaths. I want to pre-make a few uh, fun ideas. I've got a gnome holding an American flag. He's going to get turned into a wreath. Probably within a few minutes. Uh, I've got some other things. I'll show you on. I'll do another video here in a minute. I have to get another trash bag and get Ann's stuff in a bag for her. I've got. This will be her third bag of clothes. <laughs> so. That's what my day consists of so far. I ran errands all morning. I think I got out of here around 7.30. And uh, we just got home. I did stop and take us both out for lunch. Uh, I, I, I can eat meat now. It just has no taste. Uh, some of it, but I can't eat other stuff like fish. I can't eat that at all still. Uh, shrimp, no, can't eat that at all. It makes me sick. Uh, so a lot of meat still smells and tastes really bad. Other meats don't have any taste, like red meats. Especially, they don't have any taste. Anything like pork tastes like dirt. Uh, smells like dirt. But I will take, uh, take... I was craving barbecue. Something with barbecue sauce. And so I took me and Archer. Went to a little place. A little mom and pop place in town. Called Brothers on Main. Which is inventive. Considering it's owned by two brothers. And it's on Main Street. And... Uh, they had a rodeo burger, so I got that because it was smothered in barbecue sauce, and I told them to make it extra sloppy, which means extra barbecue sauce, so I could uh, get the meat eaten without having to taste the dirt. Uh, and I got about part of that. I got part of that down. And I, like I said, I went and got him a soup bone, which he's still chawing on. And uh, probably will be for the next little bit. And I had a bunch of other errands because I've got this lady that wants a purple and teal heart. But I had to find the flowers. 
because I ran out of blue and teal. So, and I think I run the local Dollar Tree out of blue and teal. So there's that. But that's what's been going on in my neck of the woods. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.